Hello there, my fellow zombie slayers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven, episode 46, No Hearts. He can store things in higher stacks in his pocket. Oh, do I not have a fire? I'll pick, I'll pick one up on uh, an outpost up there. So I'll go to the power substation. Another strategy that you can use, that I've seen used, is to not use your last outpost and set up temporary outposts at level one, wherever you're currently operating. That works fairly well. There are some pros, yeah, I mean, there's some cons with that, which is, it's ex influence expensive, and you're not getting the full benefit of a sixth or whatever hint outpost. The pros is you have a very easy access to swap and loot and drop off stuff. I don't really do it, but I've seen others do it. Just figured I'd mention it. Are all maps roughly the same size? They are. And then the amount of hearts that you get uh, vary a little bit on lethal. They're not always going to be 30. Like, I happen to have 30. I think they can be up to... They can be vary from, like, 26 to 34 or something like that. I forget exact parameters, but it's something along those lines. So sometimes you get low heart lethal. Sometimes you get high heart lethal. And not all hearts are the same, given that... Um, some heart locations are just much easier to destroy. Like, for instance, on Trumbull Valley, there's a lot of hearts that you can sort of exploit to make them so easy. Where, like, you attack them and nothing can touch you while you attack them. I don't, I don't uh, use those exploits, but I'm just letting you know that I know that they exist. And I'll, I'll get a ranged weapon in a second. I'm just doing some trading. There is no yeah, end for like survivors in need now. To do this? Cool. It is the Preston Garvey recurring of this game. But you're also not obligated to do them. Nothing. It doesn't matter at all. Like, the people that die or whatever from you not doing them don't matter <laughs> at all. So I sort of just low-key ignore them. All right. I will be uh, going out with the 22 instead. Instead of the crossbow. Actually, I have resourcefulness on this person, which is really high rate of crossbow bolt return. So might as well use the bolt on a resourceful character. The best time to use it. So I have got scent block C4, fuel bombs. I don't have firecrackers, but who cares? Cure, meds, steroids, or whatever they are, energy pills. Ready to go. Hello out there. I have some goodies to trade straight from Trumbull Valley. Come on by. Trumbull Valley Trader. Probably fertilizers. Because they're not the network trader. Do I still have the bolt press installed? Uh, no, I think I have the fuel and the bolt crafter. Yeah, the fuel and the bolt crafter. Like That's what I usually keep installed, just because I, I use a lot of crossbows. This place is hotter than a damn sauna.
Was that a phase? No, it wasn't. There it goes. They're getting real close. It didn't die? All right, I'll punch it down. I guess I set that poorly or something? I don't know. Really would have thought that would take it out. I was close enough. Uh, so the current priority, clear hearts. I've been not updating that at all. That's pretty heavy. Oh, I wasted fuel because I didn't have space for it. This will happen. Puppy treats. Sure thing. Hey, dude. Peanuts for you. It's almost to the point where, like, I'm wealthy enough that I probably don't even need to loot the hearts so much anymore. And it would be better for me to just speed run the remainder with uh, scent block enabled. What are you doing, Kenny? Hugging zombies? Carry that much. I can't carry any more crap. But the looter in me. Just feels the need to grab everything. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I did leave behind some plague samples, but I've got something like 200 of them. They won't be missed. Am I going to change bases again? Nope. This is the final. The final base. What do I have to sell to you? I don't it's even think they have influence anymore. Let's help each other out. 42 Sounds influence, like yeah. They can't afford anything. For lucky number 27. Oh, you know what? I. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't see them all. I was right. There's still one hidden out there somewhere. We'll call it the Prime Heart. The final boss heart. My scent block is about to wear off. I'm not. And I'm out. Damn it. 
Bathroom again, huh? You can get a lot of bathroom hearts. You nibbled me. Good on ya. Ow. Stop it, guys. Is there a feral in here? I think there is, yeah. Feral, go away. Come on, use the cure. Blow it up. Score one more for the good guys. Feels nice to take back some territory. Ow. Should not have tried to hit that flaming uh barrel. Oh, he wants me. Yeah, you do. Ow, you hit me through a wall. Way too hey, Stromzy. Thank you for the resub, man. How's it going? All the ladies are sneaking up on me while I'm in the bathroom. You know how that is, right? No privacy. So rude. Occupado! Déjame en paz. Leave me in peace. But that won't last long in plague territory. Need that. Okay, full clear. Three left. I think Kenny here deserves a little bit of a break. Actually, he cured himself. He could go for another. Uh, maybe right now. If I can get over to this plague heart quickly. I'm doing pretty good, man. I am trying to finish up this game. I am so very close to the end goal of at least clearing out all the hearts. Do I have enough cure? I don't have a spare cure, but I'm close enough to my outposts that have cure that it should be fine. Should is a word with a lot of work in that uh, sentence there. There ain't no guarantees. And there's Mr. Farrell, who's getting stuck on the door. I hope the Feral aided that. No, I hear him alive. That's too bad. Sorry, Feral. Well, I just definitely got myself stuck. Let's see if I can get three hearts with one scent block. Oh, my scent blocks weren't off. This is gonna be sketchy. Show me what you got. Bye-bye, Hardies. Don't pull me out. Don't pull me out. Oopsie. Pull oh, that's not good. Don't touch me. I never once doubted 
that would work. Here, better, better, better. Whoop. You're on fire. So tired. All right, come on, Pharaoh. You want to mess with me? Come to my home turf. All clear. Of a gas station, apparently. Come on. Come on, you creepy little brainiac. Oh, through the windows. Okay. I guess that's fair. All's fair in love and war, right? Yep, yeah, over here. Oh, over here. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. I know, it's so frustrating to be a feral. Oh, too bad. So sad. You bet now. Bye bye. I almost feel bad for him, man. Like, I can actually somewhat sympathize with how hard he worked for his his lunch or whatever meal I am. And he didn't get me. He got a face full of knife. I want to stay away from that. So I parked. All right, my car is flaming. That's right. Well, there's only one plague heart left. So I consider that, I don't know, success-ish, at least. Or any of the, any of the semi-trucks drivable? No, they're not. They're all burned up. You can get pretty big, like, military trucks that are like... Uh, I have one back in my base that I can show you, but no. Trucks aren't drivable. You, the closest is maybe like uh, a van or something. An econo van sized van. Well, I didn't loot any of these hearts, but uh, I don't know. I still... Alright, so the last, the last heart is somewhere around here. It's probably this building right there. If I was to guess. I speculated it would be up in this neighborhood. Because I looked everywhere else. Do you want to drive the tractor? I guess the Norma is kind of like... It's like a farm truck. It sucks. Like, really, 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 really bad. But, uh... If you like farming equipment... It exists. We can disagree without being But if you're actively causing problems... I know, right, Milena? Oh. The Norma takes forever to start. Yeah. The, I mean, the one of the the upgraded Norma is like not terrible, but the regular Norma is so so garbage. I I I certainly will never be caught using it because I I enjoy life and living. But, you know, if, if you're insane and you want a car that doesn't start and has no perks, have at it. So, we were retiring you. Uh, you are striking, so give you a blunt weapon. Give you a nice big gun. Uh... I don't know, Thompson, that works. And switch out. I'm not doing it. Let's finish off with Judy. I think it makes sense for our fine leader to be the last heart slayer. I'm gonna go get checked out. Make sure everything still works like it should. Okay. The final countdown.
What else do I need? Scent block. Oh, I don't have a cure. That probably leveled up my pathologist. Nope, still no? Jesus, Ania. You are slow to level. Yeah, I think I took down five with him. I think that sounds about right. He was a beefy boy. Those deep pockets with so much extra supplies really made a big difference. Try the hand grenades? Uh, I could use hand grenades. I just don't, I don't think I have very many. And they don't really do very much. But I'll, I'll take them for you. Can you join me? Nope, I'm not playing multiplayer. Sorry. So I'm going to guess it's in this building here. I think that's a, basically a guarantee looking at the map here. There's also a survivor in need that's like at a hollow heart or blown up heart. It's like, you're not in need, man. There's no threat there anymore. Don't touch me. All right, last heart. I'll go red for that. So here's what I'll do is I will, uh, I, hate it when zombies mess with my people. I will throw the hand grenades first and then melee for the first round. So we'll see how many swings I have to do for round one as is kind of like a pseudo point of reverence. Just one plague heart away from making our town safe again. Landed. What did those fences ever do to me? They called me names. And said a bunch of yo mama so fat jokes. Found it very offensive, so. They have to go. You messed with the wrong town. I'm just about out of these. Alright, one of those might have bounced weird. So I would say it's equivalent of maybe three or four swings of a heavy weapon. I mean, that wasn't hard science, but there's a barrel behind me in there. Nope, Feral's uh, in front of me. Here, Feral. Eat it! I can't believe the Feral's just like tank frickin' C4 like it's nothing. It's pretty insane how they don't die from that, because I blew that up on his face. Nope. They're ridiculous. Alright, achieve the goals that the leader set to complete the the, the story. Um oh, my leader hasn't set any goals, so uh I would like to say mission accomplished, but it's more like mission stalled. Hey, I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> Did I scare you? Oh, poor baby. And then I stabbed you to death. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Legitimately, he seems spooked. He was like, oh, crap, she's behind me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to drive her home. And then I guess I'll just loot Plague Hearts until the last Judy's quest triggers. I I will repeat again what I said a few times where I'm sorta of worried it bugged out due to the rush uh the not rush roulette, the leader roulette that I did. Swapping leaders so much might have just kind of broken her, but uh we'll see. It's too soon to say for certain. 
I've never played, like, Poke the Bear with a Feral before, and I've got to say, I enjoyed it. I really did scare the Feral. He, like, fell off the patio and everything. Almost good parking. Almost. So she's also hey sword play. Did you miss me? Where is everyone? Oh, I see one. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing some people. I was a little worried that it was just like, hey, congratulations. While you were out getting stuff done, everybody at home died. I long for a game that just punishes you like that for no reason. It's like, congratulations, the winning... Well, I guess that's kind of Project Zomboid, now that I think about it. Project Zomboid is like, yeah, you didn't win this. You died. Let's just see how long you lived. Did I widen my FOV? I did, yes. That's That was a, a recent uh, option that they offer. So I'm going to switch off of her. I'm going to switch off of her um, so that it might trigger the mission. And then I guess what I could do is, um, you know that upgraded car that you wanted? I can afford the kit. So let's go do that. I will show you the horribleness that is the Viking. Oh, that's a medium kit. Okay, we really did wipe out every last plague heart in town. Here we go. What's next? This is it. Not quite done fixing this town yet. I have a few ideas on that. Well, then go rest your butt in the infirmary. That barrel's head is armored. So it didn't bug. Perfect. I'm very, very pleased about that. Well, there goes all my building materials, so I guess I'm back to calling in favors and traders. The noise in this place want to help me back at the base with some wheeling and dealing? Delivery. Got enough materials here to build just about anything. I'm going to make sure there's nothing in the trunk. Good. Uh, why is it... Oh, because that's an infestation. Yeah, I don't think it's badass. There's the Viking. A lot of fuel storage because it burns a lot of fuel. Actually sounds like the infestation is actually in here. Which is wild considering it's like essentially in my base. But if, uh, if Feral's attacked the back of that Viking that's just one giant fuel tank, uh, you can imagine how bad that is. Uh, you go boom. It's such a vulnerable car as a result. Alright, I want to clear out the uh, infestation, so... Let's go get it. And then I'll switch to Judy. Infestation clear. It's like a reflex game. Oh, or I have backup. Alright, 
Whoever has the grenade launcher, I'm kind of down range. Would you kindly not shoot at me? The amount of attention I attracted from firing this little Ingram or whatever gun this is, is kind of insane. So where's the materials trader before we have stuff that breaks? You. Hi, sorry about all the gunfire. I'm sure your drums are ringing. Yeah, sure. So, what have you got to trade? Okay. I'd like to trade if you open to it. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna guess neon green backpacks are probably not the uh, safe choice in the stealthy zombie apocalypse. I'm just wild stab in the dark with that one. So Judy should be out of the infirmary pretty soon. I'll just sell him that gun, I don't even care. Judy should be out of the infirmary pretty soon, and then it is sheriff time. I have all I can carry. So, what have you got to trade? Yeah, sure. All right, yeah, I've bankrupted him. He has 20 influence left. Uh, Judy, I might not even wait for you to be ready to go. How is your plague? Yeah, I'm not I'm not waiting anymore. You are partial, but it's not bad. Talk to three members of my community about the defeat of Blood Plague. Well, it would have to be Weaver and Kenny at the very least, because they did the most. Where are you, Kenny? Is this... No. That's Ezra. It doesn't really matter who I talk to, by the way. But seriously, where, 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 where's Kenny? Oh. No, that's Cadet. Where is... Kenny? Alright, Kenny, I don't want your opinion anymore. Ania, what do you feel about it? Your knowledge was crucial in defeating the blood plague. I mean, she was the pathologist, right? See you around. Is he in the med bay? Yeah, he's probably in the med bay. Is he laying down? No. I, I, he might be asleep. Nope. I legitimately don't know where Kenny is. He's somewhere. All right, fine. Cadet, well, how do you feel? Got it. Okay. Well, finishing the run tonight? Uh, yeah. That is the plan. There's definitely not five hours left, so I might as well just go long and finish it up. The worry is I don't know the ETA on the next steps being triggered. If I don't get treatment, I'm afraid I won't be of use to anyone. It only shows uh, seven or eight members of my community at a time. Yeah, I think that's the problem is he's missing. 
He's actually wounded, so like, he should be resting somewhere. So I'm gonna rest uh, Judy, our our very fine leader in the med bay, for her to recover. Um, I guess while I wait for the quest to trigger, I can go clean up these hearts because I do have, as you can see, uh, remaining items left on them. Or to murder soul eaters or whomever. Um, I'll go to the middle of the map. That's a lot of that. Those were totally unlooted hearts. I never touched it. And I'm just gonna bring a minimum amount of stuff with me. Just meds and some bullets. Anybody wanna make a deal? We have cool stuff to trade. Spare parts dealer. Oh, that actually might be kinda cool. Sometimes the spare parts dealer has really cool stuff. Sometimes it's it's a total bust. One thing I did not get this entire run was a Quirks book dealer. Not once. The rare rare books that teach you Quirks skills. Which I'm kind of surprised. I'm glad I didn't hold my breath waiting for Quirks skills. Because I would have been really disappointed with the zero availability. Can we work a trade? Sure, why not? She had a soldering station, salvage furnace. Yeah, she. I mean, she had some stuff. Light kit, a bunch of parts. She has circuitry. At this point, I don't need to buy the circuitry because we're so in the clear. I, you know, killed all hearts. But uh, the parts dealer is the one of the only ways to get circuitry. That like the Trumbull network dealer. Those are the reliable ones. All right, let's loot hearts while the game figures out. What next quest it wants to offer me? What quirk skills do I uh, shoot for? Um, hygiene's a really strong one. It, it's one of these, it really depends on what your hero bonuses are and what your enclave bonuses are to complement, right? Because you want to pick quirk skills for things you're missing. So if you're missing Meds, for instance, you could pick uh, Lycanology, or if you're missing parts, you could pick, uh, what is the parts one again? Shopper, or whatever? No, that's Search. So I usually just, um, there's not like a, a obvious go-to for me, it's just, I select a fill. It'd be great if you stopped crouching. I was spamming my, like, do not crouch button there, and he refused to... Oh, okay. And if I was under Norma, I'd be dead by now. Recycling, yeah, that's the one. Come on, join your brothers. I'm gonna get my revenge, dude. Hey, Sheriff. I could use your help here we here. go. Sheriff mission. Never mind. Well, now nah, I'm gonna get my revenge. I don't really like it blown up. Oh, did you just disappear? Oh, no, you're still here. Choo choo! Hop on my hood, and then you go flat. Rip car. Uh, I'm pretty sure this car is still running. 
That uh, was probably something like my 50th time I've blown it up. So it's kind of used to it. It's like if you were Johnny Blaze's underwear. You're just kind of used to the heat, right? It comes with the territory. I don't know why specifically underwear and not, you know, rest of the clothing, but I'm going to go with underwear. How many times can you blow up a car before it stays blown up? I have seen videos, and I think they patched the bug, where, like, sometimes it explodes and goes into orbit, where the car ends up out of map bounds. But, like, that was a long time ago, and I think those bugs have been remedied. More ferals? Can I catch a break? Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 18th and October 19th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description in this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, to its subscribers, and viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.